Hi guys, my name is Amy. Today I'm going to talk about the tempo of a golf swing. I don't know what your golf swings look like, but if we give it a good tempo to it, it's actually going to look fantastic. And with a good tempo, your shots are going to get more consistent. So let's go ahead and get you a really good tempo. So when it comes to tempo, people with a little bit faster speed tends to go in two counts like this. One, two. And usually everyone else goes in three counts like this. One, two, three. Both of them are correct, but uh, the most common tempo we see on the golf course is slightly different. What we usually see goes kind of like this. One, two. You lift it up, yank it down with no finish. That's what we see mostly on the golf course. That is wrong. There's two things wrong with that tempo. One is that you're not using the body, you're using the arms to hit the golf ball. Number two is that it's too quick. I mean, you see the pros on TV, they swing very fast, but the most important thing here is that they actually use their body to take it back and they use their body power to bring it down and the hands are following the body's lead. And when the body is changing directions, the hands look like they pause a little bit at the top. Nothing ever, ever completely stops. Your constant in motion is just the hands look like they're paused a little bit because they're following the body's lead. So if you have two count tempo, three count tempo, it really doesn't matter. Everybody pauses at the top just that if you have a faster swing and you have a two count tempo, then your pause at the top is going to be very short compared to a slower tempo person, tempo at the uh, pause at the top is going to be a lot longer. But must remember, you have to pause at the top. Okay, so in order to pause at the top, you have to use the body to swing instead of arms to hit the ball. Um, if you're not sure if you use the body correctly or if you yank down with the arms, I have a simple test here you can try. What you do is <clears throat> you set up to the golf ball, you're going to go to the top of the back swing, you're going to count to three, and then you're going to hit it as hard as you can, like this. Boom, one, two, three. So if you use the body correctly like I do, What's going to happen is you're not going to have any problem stopping at the top of the backswing. And then on the way down, you'll hit it fine like you always do. Whereas if you actually <clears throat> use your arms to hit the ball, you're going to have a very hard time stopping at the top of the backswing like this. And once you hit, you're going to feel that tension. How, tension in your shoulders. You're going to feel like you're holding it super tight, right? So if you figured it out and you realize you hit the ball with your arms, there's, I prepared a simple drill so I can relax your arms and I can get you to use your body more so we can get that tempo going. So it's called a step drill. So what you do is you set up to the golf ball. You're going to take your left foot and step it in so your stance is smaller. You're going to take it back. Without moving anything, you're just going to step the left foot back into the original place, step like this, and then you're going to use your hips to swing, not your hands. So watch, you're going to turn, step, hip, like that. When you step, the one thing you have to be careful is when you step, people tend to kind of do that. Your hands aren't supposed to move at all. You just step your left foot and then the hip. Once you're comfortable with the step drill, let's go ahead and hit the ball. Okay, so you're gonna go turn, pause, body. To get your tempo going, you have to remember two things. Number one is that you cannot use your arms to hit the ball. You have to use your body to hit the ball. Number two is that you have to pause at the top. If you remember these two things, your tempo is going to become fantastic. I hope you're able to follow along. If you like the lesson, 
please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next lesson.